like most of your impersonations that I've seen online yeah. tend to be Hebrew speakers. Is that oh, yeah. mostly just a byproduct of moving to Israel? Yeah. I mean, when I make fun of like, you know, I mean, I'm either imitating Israelis or myself, but, you know, I, I joke so much about my world and, you know, um, you know the, the fish out of water phenomenon. Like, you know, if you're an American moves to Japan, you know, all the Japanese are like this and you're like this, you know, that's, yeah. I mean, look like uh, Borat, why is Borat funny? Because we're comparing him to Americans or, you know, I, I've always found it interesting in America, you know, we all, we thread, you know, we often have like a foreign character in comedy. We make fun, like, uh, you've seen like Austin Powers. Yeah. You know, Austin Powers, why is he funny? Because he, well, I mean, Mike Myers is obviously funny, but like, yeah. <laughs> okay, here's America. And we suddenly get this guy from, he's not only British, but he's like from the sixties or, you know, transplanting him to modern times. He wouldn't be funny in Britain in the sixties. He'd be normal. I mean, what's interesting is like, it says as much about us, like Borat, you know, yeah. Even though we're laughing at him, you know, he's also revealing a lot about us. You were mentioning how yeah. audiences are so different in Israel and how the, a lot of things that bother us here in the States don't bother them there. But have any of your impersonations yeah. doing Hebrew or anything like that ever bothered anybody over there? No. Yeah, I mean, like, I don't know. If, you're, if there's a crowd of 10,000 people and one person gets offended... I mean, how could that person not look around and say, I'm the only one in 10,000 people? What does that say about me? Yeah. I don't know how someone <laughs> wouldn't uh, think that. Oh, and and on that note, like, is there ever a time that you think it's not appropriate for a comedian to impersonate another type of accent or person or something? Sure. Along that? I mean, look, like, because, yeah, I'm sure I mentioned on the call, context matters. Yeah. And intent, you know, I don't know what the joke is about. Is the joke be mean-spirited? Um, I mean, are you impersonating a Nazi? Like that wouldn't be funny. It's not as much about the German accent, but it's about the Nazi. You know, it's just I can't. It's hard to it's hard to you know it's hard to make a conclusion without knowing the joke. I mean, yeah. am I like am I berating someone? Am I like you know, like I said on the call, like if I'm, you know, am I imitating an Asian person and talking about the China virus and you know. Uh, you know, I mean, it depends on what I'm saying. You know, is it is it good natured or is there like is there something mean spirited behind it? Is it, it does involve you know stereotypes? It's just um, so yeah, it's certainly possible, but you'd have to know the joke. You know, you can't say something's offensive or not without knowing the joke. 